That Utah mom of three accused of fatally poisoning her husband with a fentanyl-laced Moscow mule, then writing a children's book about grief. Well, now there are new questions about whether her mom was involved. This is coming from a recently released search warrant. Remember, Corey Richens did several TV interviews to promote the, the grief book. I just watched the struggle that my kids were going through. And I actually, you know, I went on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and trying to find something that we could use to cope at nights. Nights are the hardest, it seems like, for everybody when, you know, dealing with anything. But I just wanted some story to read to my kids at night. And I just could not find anything. I couldn't find anything that really, you know, suited them or helped them find comfort and peace. And so, you know, I was like, let's just write one. But now investigators focusing on the mom, Lisa Darden, and her connection to a former partner's overdose in 2006. It sounds familiar, right? A newly unsealed search warrant. The lead detective on the Richens case revealed, quote, it was discovered that in 2006, Richens' mother, Lisa Darden, was living with an adult female with whom she was having a romantic relationship. In April of that year, her romantic partner died unexpectedly. That individual died from an overdose of oxycodone which she apparently had prescriptions for. The search warrant goes on to say, quote, further investigation showed that Lisa Darden had been named as a beneficiary of her partner's estate a short time before her death. Remember, before Eric's death, Corey Richens allegedly purchased multiple life insurance policies, apparently without his knowledge, trying to make herself the sole beneficiary. And then after his death, she received about $1.3 million in payouts. Richens' attorney, Sky Lazaro says it was a drug overdose like so many others. And, quote, the fact that Ms. Darden was the beneficiary of her romantic partner's life insurance policy is also not unique. It only demonstrates that her circumstances are no different than most families in America. To suggest otherwise is nothing more than a baseless conspiracy theory. The detective, though, involved in the case thinks there could be a connection. Richens and her mom are close. They communicate daily. Detective Jeff O'Driscoll speculating, quote, based on Lisa Darden's proximity to her partner's suspicious overdose death and her relationship with Corey, it is possible she was involved in planning and orchestrating Eric's death. Eric's family attorney joined me this week. He also believes it could be more than just a coincidence. Similarities are so remarkable that it's now opened up an investigation into what might be an 18-year-old homicide. Uh, the, the similarities in terms of the transfer of uh, assets, the fact that they were both named beneficiaries of the deceased's estates uh, shortly beforehand, the fact that it was an accidental, supposedly uh, fentanyl overdose, the fact that there were so many people like like the attorney said, that were dying of overdoses at the time, makes it seem that they were really thinking that law enforcement wasn't going to take this very seriously. Woo, back with us are Aldo Rivera, Ashley Banfield, and Jesse Weber. Ashley, the attorney for Corey Richen says it's a conspiracy theory. What do you make of it? <laughs> well, I did think it was pretty interesting that the detective sort of like hedged on on, on Corey's yeah. mom saying like on the one hand whoa, whoa that that OD then I'll read it it was like the person who died was not in a state of recovery from addiction at the time of her death right so then yeah. I think whoa <laughs> there's no you know there's no there there but then it said um but but it's I got to rule out the possibility of an accidental overdose so I'm not quite sure what to make of it I, I think if anything if you really want to go on the conspiracy side of things it, it gave Corey's mom some ideas uh, because in my life this happened and it sure was easy and I got the money. But uh, mm. that's all I could say about it. I don't think Corey's mom necessarily committed a, a murder, not it, with the evidence that we have. Here's Corey's mom on 48 Hours talking about Corey and Eric's relationship, number five. Nobody's perfect, but they're pretty close. He didn't want Corey to work. He wanted her to be a stay-at-home mom and she's very independent and that wasn't gonna happen. Geraldo, fair to ask questions about the mom? Of course it is. Uh, you know, in terms of Corey, first of all, you have motive opportunity, you have the prenup, you have the insurance policies, uh, you know, you have the informant. And, uh, you know, importantly, I haven't heard much about uh, the informant lately who says that uh, he or she sold drugs to, uh, uh, to Corey. In terms of the mom's uh, unfortunate uh, personal history, you know, most families, uh, 
you know, you know to have two suspicious overdoses in the same family uh, is kind of rare, I, I have to say. And it, I don't know, uh, I, if I were defending Corey, I would be very worried now. Uh, the mom uh, maybe can skate because it is so long ago, uh, but uh, it, it certainly stinks to me of the most amazing chutzpah you could ever imagine. How this woman could uh, apparently or allegedly kill her husband after uh, getting these extra insurance policies and so forth, and then go and promote the idea of, uh, uh, you know, the children's grief as a, as a commercial uh, uh, enterprise uh, going going forward. It's just, it I, seems uh, amazingly brazen uh, uh, to me that she would make herself so public unless she thought that no one would suspect her because she was, uh, you know, the, the face of, uh, of grieving. Uh, but uh, I, I think that this case is uh, headed toward a, toward a conviction. Jesse, you know, I listened to the clips of her doing the promotion for the book How again, <laughs> again, and again, and again. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.